Hi, I'm Dan Halbert, and I work for the Office Systems Division of the Xerox Corporation. I'm going to tell you about a technique of programming called programming by example. The basic idea of programming by example is that the user writes a program by giving an example of what the program should do step by step. The program is written in the user interface of the system that the user is trying to program. Basically, programming by example is do what I did. I'm going to demonstrate programming by example in a simulation of the Xerox 8010 star office information system. Now, in order to illustrate programming by example, I'm going to write a program to do exactly just what I did, that is, move the icon named Zion out of the Parks folder. And now, I'll select the program icon and open it. In the window header at the top of the program icon are several commands that have to do with programming. There are commands start and stop recording, which get the system to start and stop remembering the actions that I'm doing. There are also some commands for single-stepping a program that's been recorded, and a command to record to run a program that's been recorded. So now, in order to record this, this program, I'll press the Start Recording button. And an extra little window comes up that reminds me that I'm recording. So now I'll do exactly what I did before. I'll go over to the Parks folder. I'll open it. And now I'll go down and select the icon named Zion, and move it out of the folder onto the desktop. As I'm doing each of these actions, the system's making a transcript of what I'm doing, and it's appearing in the program window. Now, the last thing to do is to close the Parks folder. And since that's the last step in the program, I'll now press Stop Recording. And the system cleans up the program a little bit and takes out those ellipses. Well, let's try this program and see if it works. And what it will do will happen pretty fast. Parks folder opens. Zion gets moved out, and the Parks folder closes, and that's it. I'd like to write a program that takes out all the documents that have canyon, the word canyon, in their name. And I can do that by modifying the program that I have here. And now we'll go back and edit this data description again. I'll select it and open its window. And now I want to go back to looking for this document using some name pattern. So I'll switch back to name. But I don't want to look for the icon named Grand Canyon. Instead, I want to look for an icon that has the word canyon in it and look for a name that has the word canyon in it. So I'll type asterisk canyon asterisk which looks for any name with this, the letter C-A-N-Y-O-N inside. Now I'm done, so I'll press the Done button here. And again, the program will change. And now I'm looking for any document with, with the with this word Canyon in its name. Now this program moves only one document out of the Parks folder. But I want to move all the documents that match this pattern out of the Parks folder. So what I can do is add a loop to this program. I can select the statement that I want to be inside the loop, and then wrap the statement in a loop using the repeat command in the pop-up menu. All right, now the move statement is inside a loop, and here's this loop that repeats something over and over again. And I want to say that I want to use a particular description repeatedly. Well, it doesn't know which description I want, so I have to fill that in. So I'll select the description I want and copy it and drop it in this blank space. All right, now this program now this program says repeat the statement, this move statement and repeat it over and over again using everything that matches this description, that is every document with the word canyon in its name. So let's try to run this program. Press run and the parks folder opens. And it starts taking out documents. It takes out Bryce Canyon, Grand Canyon, and Canyonlands. And indeed, those are the three documents with the word Canyon in their names. As I said before, programming by example isn't a new idea. What's new in what I've shown you here is the incorporation of programming by example into a system that's as richly functional as STAR, the use of data descriptions to help the user tell the system what data to use, and the addition of control structure to a program by editing a program that's already been recorded. The goal of this research was to make programming easier for people who wouldn't normally program. This goal has been met. Real star users have used SmallStar and have been able to write programs successfully without much trouble. 
Programming by example is a step toward making programming accessible to everyone.